California's fire season doesn't begin on the front lines. It begins in the hangars, where maintenance crews prepare and get the aircraft ready for the coming fire season. Today we're filming a scene for our documentary film series, Airborne Firefighters, and we get to take you behind the scenes of something that most people never get to see, and that's winter maintenance. From parts to tools to the people who procure and account for them, it takes a lot of background movement to make sure these birds stay airworthy. This is where we do our annual maintenance to get all the aircraft ready for fire season every year. We have three maintenance hangars and a support aircraft hangar here at McClellan. There's around 160 mechanics. We're the grassroots, I would say, of of keeping these airplanes in the air. Without maintenance, if the aircraft don't fly. Uh, the trust between the mechanics and the pilots and the, and the crew that fly in them, it, everybody's like family. So everybody tries to t make sure they take care of each other and make everything as safe as, as it can be. So right now we're in winter maintenance. We have three annuals going on in here and one aircraft being modded for uh, new equipment. Every year we open up the aircraft, do full inspection on them, look for corrosion, cracks, uh, component failures, anything that might be wrong with them, correct it and get the aircraft ready for fire season. We start around October and go through May, and there's 16 aircraft. Average about three weeks in aircraft, you know, that's 48 weeks, being done in 30 to 35 weeks. With the knowledge that we here, have here with our mechanics, we can take an, an OV-10 that's completely torn apart and rebuild it from scratch. Every stitch of wire, every moving part, everything on it. And we actually did that in 2021, AirTech 430. People are surprised all the time when they come in here on tours, uh, for instance. They, they see the aircraft and see what shape they're in. They think they're new aircraft. And then we tell them they're 55 years old and they can't believe it. And I say, well, that's because of the pride and work that our mechanics put into them. A lot of history here. They've served in the country for other things besides fighting fires. So with our OV-10 aircraft, we have A models and D models. These are all vintage 60s and 70s, most used in Vietnam War. Procuring parts has been uh, quite a tasks, finding parts that we can use for the aircraft that are serviceable, being that these are from the 70s and 60s. Finding them in serviceable condition has been quite a feat. And there's times where we can't find the parts and we need to reverse manufacture them. So it's quite a task making sure everything we can find to keep these aircraft in the air um, and mission ready. Back here we have all of our uh, parts to maintain the aircraft. It can be anything from bolts, washers, rivets. Anything structurally you can think of, we keep back here. We're hundreds of thousands of parts here. There are gonna be like 5,000 washers of just one washer. Good morning, morning Anthony. Good morning, sir. How's it going? Very well on yourself. You got the big ticket for that start? Yes, sir. Thanks. How things going with you, Travis? Good. 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 And part of that is part of the tool calibration program as well. My name is Tony, Tony Almora. I am the Cal Fire Aviation Tool Calibration Specialist. The calibration part of the operation is mostly finding the accuracy of, of the tools that are used on the aircraft. Here in the aircraft ministry, this, this, this little device is very important. This is a, your basic torque wrench. The calibration side of the tools make sure that the accuracy of that torque wrench is torqued correctly to make sure that bolt stays on the equipment. If it's, if it's torqued too much, it may break. If it's torqued too, uh, too low, it may come loose. The accuracy is very important because let's say that they're, they're off a couple of decimals, it could actually affect the flight of the aircraft. If something goes wrong with the aircraft, the very first thing that federal inspectors look at is, is the date of the calibration. 
we have uh, approximately close to 1,800 different tools that need to be calibrated yearly. This is a graphic of, um, of all the tools that are mostly here in this division. If you can see, it will continue on and on and on. We just finished our winter maintenance and right now we're going into our fire season maintenance. Um, all the aircraft are fixed up, ready to go, and they will be going to air attack bases. Here at AMU, we supply all the base mechanics with everything they need to keep the aircraft in the, in the air uh, fighting fires.